Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about what I've titled The Broad Path of Prepping or The Straight and Narrow, You Decide. Um, today I was at the ministry, and uh, well, as you can see I've still got my shirt on, and I was thinking about this, and I've been thinking about this for days, and I decided that today on Shabbat Day I'm going to take some time and go over this with you. I see so many people make this mistake. I have done this also, so I don't want to be labeled hypocrite. I went right down the same path. And that is you either take this broad path that everyone else is going because it just seems to be the trend thing, and that's where, you know, hey, I, maybe I need to go down that path. But the truth is there's that straight, narrow path that you need to take. And now that applies to not only prepping but to salvation. Uh, with that said, actually, I want to share something from Matthew chapter 7 while it's on my mind because I got the Bible with me. I want to just read these couple verses and then I'll get right into the prepping part of it because uh, I think it's always important to keep this before us. It is Matthew chapter 7 uh, verses 13 and 14. Messiah said, Enter in through the narrow gate because the gate is wide and the way is broad that leads to destruction. And there are many who enter in through it. Because the gate is narrow, and the way is hard-pressed, which leads to life, and there are few that find it. I'm reading that from my Hallelujah Scriptures Bible. I've got mine with a nice blue cover on it to remind me of the Ten Commandments. And this applies to prepping, too. And I'll give you a glaring example. Uh, I'm wanting to really talk about water, food, and shelter, because that seems to be the epic fails that people get into. Mine has been water, and so I'm going to start with my failures first and then break this down and hopefully this will be some value to be gained from this because ladies and gentlemen right now times are good and we can do a lot of things for ourselves now but when hard times come there's no fixing it there's no prepping then there's no getting this stuff back it's now or never okay so with that said let's go to the first prep i got this quite some time ago because it was a good deal now uh you know it was manufactured here in america so i thought hey you know it's got to be good the bulb is affixed to the lid. Notice something? The bulb's not there no more. The glue that had held the unit to it, I don't know if I'm even going to get the bulb out. Oh, yeah, here we go. Almost got it worked out. The bulb that held it, or the glue that held this bulb into it, had give away. Alright? I've only used this thing like, I think maybe once for a Scouts thing, and then a time or two for myself, just out and about. And now look at that. It's gone. Okay, so all the money I wasted in investing in that is, is shot. And I mean, it even had an O-ring seal, nice protecting about it and everything. But it's money wasted. And I didn't really know much about the company. I didn't know much about the product. It looked great at the time. It looked like a solution for my needs. And this is just a small water prep. This ain't on a large scale. But the point is, is that I didn't know about the product, number one. And I didn't know about the company. I didn't really know uh, feedback. The pricing looked good the need of what I needed done, you know, so I was like, hey, let's get it. It's a failure. Now, as opposed to someone like I just done this review here not long ago, Lifestraw, it's being tried and tested. I mean, third world countries, people use this thing to live. It costs more, but you know what? It works, all right? Now, this is a small scale. We're, we're just talking small scale water prep right now. I'm gonna go big scale. Here's the thing. I put this in my bag. I know without even cracking it open, because I've had one before too, which that adds even more weight to knowing that it's going to work. But the point is that so many people use this, and there's so many positive reviews, and there's so much knowledge on it, that I have to ask myself at that point, do I want to take the broad path, put a little investment in it, and get you know something that might work, or do I want to know that I'm going down the straight and narrow, I got what I need, it's going to you know, be a little more effort on my end, but it's going to last me. 
There you go. My answer from now on, straight and narrow. It might take me a little longer to get it put back, but I'm gonna have it. All right, so, you know, there's an example on the water, and I, and I wanna go one more because I've seen so much controversy uh, on a video I done about this, is the survival steel. Now, you know, people said to me, Luke, it costs too much. Or, well, I can build my own. Well, I wanna say two things to you on that. I want you to go and look you up a Berkey. And I want you to price it compared to the survival steel, all right? Now, I'm not getting paid nothing by survival steel to do this, all right? I'm not getting paid by any of these folks, okay? You know, uh, any money that comes in on the channel, we give to uh, how loose scriptures try our best to send it to them and, or help other people that's in need, all right? So let's keep that in mind at all times. There's nobody getting paid. And I'm doing this on a Shabbat day. I'm doing this to hopefully save somebody's life later down the road. That's survival steel. Did steel salt water, contaminated water, Heavy metals that are in the water pulls the water off the heavy metals. Will your Berkey do that later down the road? I guarantee you the price comparison. If you added this up, and Father forgive me if, if this is wrong talking about this today, is, is just the comparison of what, we'll just say what you have to put in to get out. That way we don't say the money word. Is it worth it to you later down the road whenever you have nowhere to go to, you have no other option? Did you choose the right path? And I guarantee you most of those people that want to harp on the price thing, and I'm not meaning to hate on it because I know some of you are subscribers have been with us for a long time. My question to you is look at what else you have laying around. Can anything hold up to what I've showed you with that survival steel? Can it really? Because I know all my water preps pale in comparison to that one item right there. I mean, I can do anything I want to with just my pond water. I mean, you've seen the Molotov cocktail I made out of duck water, and I drank it. It was clear. It was clean. I'm not going to worry about it no more. I don't have to worry about it. So you know what? I don't care if the thing would have had to be a gold bar. When the end of the world comes, I don't care about that gold bar. It ain't going to, it ain't going to sustain my soul, my nefesh, my being, okay? Literal being, all right? Don't get nefesh, uh, um, uh, don't misunderstand it in Hebrew. It is literal being. Body plus breath is a living soul, all right? Don't get this stuff confused, all right? So my being will be sustained later down the road because I have the proper thing for it, all right? Now... Another thing, let's move to food. I have told people time and time again, do not get GMO seeds. We're transgressing the Torah, okay? So now you might not be a person of faith, okay? Well, then you're killing your body. Should that, I mean, not be enough to wake you up? All right, well, you know, the same thing with these seeds. It took a lot to put them back, you know? There's, a, there's quite an investment to put this back. But you know what? These seeds, once I start growing something, I can replenish it. Now, when you go to the store and you get you GMO seeds or hybrids, that's it. After that season, you've grown your product, you get nothing else. Again, ever. Nada. Nothing. So you have to ask yourself once again, is it worth it? Am I on the broad path or am I on the straight and narrow? This is straight and narrow, okay? This is not transgressing the master's commands. This is not having a piece of garbage for, you know, uh, product. You are actually going to have something that is going to continue to give back to you. So it's a one-time. See, it's the same thing with that survival still. I'm a one-timer. All right, these seeds, I'm a one-time. I don't have to keep going back. i done what I needed to ahead of time and chose the right path. All right? Now, with that said, let's go uh, to another thing with food. I don't know how many times I've had to preach this, and I will continue, as long as this channel goes on. I, I despise unclean food. Now, I'm not talking about pork right now. I'm talking about GMOs. And when I look at this product right here, it has all sorts of filth in it. Um, and I, I mean, it's just it's terrible, and, and, and you shouldn't eat it, bottom line. And it's made by Wise Foods. Let me get that closer so you can see it, Wise Foods. This is garbage, all right? And I don't care if it's made in the USA. I don't care if it's made in China. It's got filth in it, so I'm not going to eat it. All right? Now, I just got done doing a video uh, before this one about the company um, and about Prep SOS. This food is non-GMO. It is plainly stating it is written on the food that it's not GMO. All right? Why risk it? You know, if you're going to get something and, and you're still having to get into, you know, you've got skin in it. All right, you're putting skin in the game to have this. Why not have something that's going to last you, that's not transgressing the Torah, that's not destroying your body, that is not nastiness, that's not man-made garbage. It's something that will actually last you. Why not? 
I mean, why not make the right decision? Why go down the broad path, all right? Go down the straight and narrow, all right? These are just some small examples, and it just keeps pounding in my head that I see people nitpick things. Um, look, I am a farmer, all right? And I know that a lot of folks don't have a lot of money, all right? I run on a budget every day. But I have to ask myself at the end of the day, is it worth it? You know, should I invest in that? And I don't have it at the time uh, sometimes. But I would prefer to wait and not have something on the shelf at the moment and get the better thing down the road than to just, you know, jump at it real quick and then have something, yeah, it looks good on the shelf right now, but later down the road it won't perform. And it might cost one of my family members their life or me because I did not choose wisely, you know. So I, I'll make one more, one more point about this is shelter. You know, I, when the most high comes back, I am not wanting to be hit out in some bunker. I, I, now, not only that, I don't have a quarter million dollars to invest in a bunker to put in my backyard or up in some mountainside hidden away. I want something that I can live in above ground, you know, realistic. You know, whether it be a tiny, portable tiny house, um, you know, a camper, something realistic. Something I can hook to and take with me. You know, people get the wrong ideas when it comes to prepping. I mean, I've been down the broad path. You know, when I started out, I, I made some bad decisions. And I'll be the first to admit it. And, you know, I, I'm not above saying I've been wrong about things. I'm not. I mean, when you get to being like that, you're, you're on the path to destruction anyway, regardless of prep. And, and I think you know what I mean. I mean spiritually. But, you know, choose wisely. Go, go down the right path when it comes to prep and uh, get the right things. Don't do something just because everybody around you is trending it or because everybody else is thinking that might be the best thing. Research these things. Look at the statistics. Look at the history of these products. Look at the, the background of what's in it. You know, do an investigative, detailed research on these things before you commit to this because one day your life is going to be riding on it. And that right there is enough to make me look at it very closely nowadays as compared to when I first started. It was just like, I just need to get it. And now it's more than just need to get it. It's I need to get it and I need to get it right. So I hope you take these into consideration. I hope this motivates you to take the straight and narrow path when it comes to prepping and take it carefully. So until we see you again here at Seven Trumpets Prepper Channel, I hope you have a most blessed day. In Yahushua name.